Hey guys, last time we learned about discrete binaries and solved problems C and D. But last time our source space and answers consisted of integers only. Right. So this time we are dealing with real numbers. And now why dealing with real numbers is a problem in binary search? Because real numbers can be infinitely close to each other. So to understand this problem better, let's look at a question. In this question, you have to find the number x such that x square plus root x equal to c. So this c right here can uh, is a real number, and since this solution of this equation for all any c is not necessarily an integer, you have to output this real number x, and the key part of this answer will be your x will be considered correct if relative error is less than ten plus minus six, which means your answer should have at least six decimal places correct. Now, if this were an integer, we could have just uh, used conditions like earlier, like while high greater than low plus one. But the problem is, real numbers are dense, right? And integers are discrete. Like after one, we had two, then we had three. But in real numbers, we can have infinite real numbers between any two real numbers. So, how we are going to deal with it, right? So there are two ways to deal with it. First one is obvious. When the source space gets smaller, then a predetermined bound. So you can see in the question, it's written that the answer will be considered correct if the relative or absolute error is not more than ten power minus six. So here our predetermined bound is ten power minus six. That means we are doing something like while uh, the difference between our two pointers, as long as our di the difference between two pointers is greater than ten power minus six. Uh, we'll continue running the loop. Okay, that seems reasonable. But the problem with the approach is, let's consider this high and low value of five point three eight nine three six nine. Now, the high and low in this compact form looks similar, but the numbers that will be actually be stored, they will be somewhat like this five point three eight nine three six nine. Then there will be lot of numbers after lot of digits after dec decimal places. And so the point here is, this loop might keep running and running even though it seems like the range is actually the span of the uh, pointers high minus low is actually uh, less than ten power minus six. But this loop might keep running and then what will happen? We'll get time limit exceeded, right? So another idea is to okay, we can reduce the span of these pointers, but also we are going to limit our number of iterations so we know our search space is let's say our search space is between l and r so our span is r minus l and let's say accuracy is epsilon and in this case epsilon is 10 power minus 6 so in binary search we always divide the search space in half right and initially our span was r minus l now we want our span to reduce to epsilon so the number of iteration at least we need is going to be r minus l divided by e log base log two of r minus l if, uh, by epsilon. So in this case, r minus l is ten power minus ten because it, we can see c range is one to ten power minus ten and epsilon is ten power minus six. So number of iterations will be around log two ten power sixteen, somewhere around sixty. So let's solve e. Find a number such that x square plus root x equal to c. Okay. So the number is here real number. So I should use long double. Just I should define macros first. Then I'll take input value C. Now, for our two pointers, let's name them low and high. Low is zero. Must be long double. 
height which height can be anything but uh, let's say our height will point to values for which x square plus root x will be greater than c greater than equals to c because eventually my low and high are going to converge so I will take higher c and instead of doing while high minus low greater than 10 per minus 6 I am going to perform iteration for fixed number of times let's say 60 Now, if the value satisfies this mid value, mid square plus root of mid is greater than or equals to C, I am going to move my high pointer to mid. If each value means my low pointer will be mid. and I'll return high so now for this is valid function x square plus root x greater than equals to c Six nine eight two three two. Okay. Let's submit this. Okay. Now moving on to question number F. So the question here says is you have two strings. First one is T and second one is F and you are given an order. So you are going to delete characters from the first string T according to this order. Then you are going to check whether it's possible to generate the string p out of the string after deletion of some of the characters at these indexes and you want to find out what is the maximum number of deletion you can make right so we have two strings string t p then we have numbers of length of as length as t So these numbers are basically one based indexing so I am going to reduce all of them by one. Now what is the minimum number of okay so it's also written in the question that it is guaranteed that the word p can be obtained by deleting letters from t that means even if you don't delete any characters you can still obtain p from t. So 
considering that let's say my low value points to number of characters that I can delete for which it's possible still possible for me to make p out of t initially it's zero because you can al always delete zero character and still make p out of t and for high let's say this will be t dot length because if you delete all the characters then it's never possible to make p out of t Now I'm going to check if I delete first mid characters in this order. Is it possible to get p out of t? So let's say we have a function that will check if it's possible. After deleting mid numbers, mid characters from array and still get p out of t if it's possible then that will be my new low else i'll move my high to mid at the end i'll return low now So this mean denotes the number of characters we are going to delete from the beginning of this array, right? So how to do this? Okay, I'm going to use an on order set and put all these indexes first into that set. The region is once while I'm iterating over the string, the characters that are not present in the unordered set, I'm going to add those characters, append those characters, then make a new string. And after that, I'm going to compare this string p and the new generated string. If it's possible, if p exists in between that string, then I'll return true. So let's generate a new string. If the current index is not included in the unordered set. If hs dot find i is to ten, that means it's not present in the set. Then I am going to add that character to my resultant string. This is to hs end. Okay. Now once I have two strings, this string race and string p. This is basically just a string matching. So let's create two pointers p1 equals to 0, p2 equals to 0, while p on this thing is length and p2 less than. If the current characters match, then I'll move ahead in both of the strings, and if they don't, if rest p1 equals to p2 then i'll do p1 plus plus p2 plus plus else i'll just move ahead in the first string at the end i'm going to at the end if all the characters from my string p are exhausted that means we found match for all the characters sequentially that means my p2 eventually will reach at the end of p dot length
looking up something. Thank you. 